How good is an amateur play? There you go. Why sort of luck? Boom, let's go. What's going on everybody? I'm back with a brand new video. And yes, we are back at Arthur Fisher. I know this is like three videos in a row, but today I want to bring out my entire bag, my regular disc golf bag. No challenge today. And I just want to play the course as if I were playing it on a normal day. Now the reason I wanted to do this is because I don't typically play normal disc golf rounds on this channel. Usually it's a challenge video or a review video. So why not come on here, show you how bad I may be or maybe how good I am. <sighs> Cannot be complaining about a birdie on the first hole. That's a good sign. I've played one career solo event, and that was named May Day in Xenia, Ohio at Caesars Ford. I played that last year, got fifth place. So my rating doesn't really count, but I think they rated it like a 927. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't really care too much about tournaments. I don't really care about my rating. All I really care about is getting on YouTube and making content that people hopefully enjoy. I cooked it. Oh! Kind of a recent addition is the TL3 to the bag. 260 feet, just slightly uphill. Sit down. Always hitting this damn mic off of my shirt, so I apologize for that. Someone in the comments did tell me that if I wore a hat, I could stick it up on the hat, which sounds like a great idea, honestly, but I don't ever wear hats. So maybe I should just fix my form and stop hitting my chest. Oh, flattened up a little bit for me. Most stable disc in the bag right now. Hoping that head wouldn't flip it up a little bit, but did what it was supposed to do at least. Get a long bit out of it, but I always par this hole anyway, so I don't get too excited here. <sighs> do it. <sighs> Come on, baby. Looking to get back on track on hole five. We're a minus one through four holes. Could have gotten a couple of more there, but it's all good. Hole five is a 485 foot par four. Only danger is going OB right. <sighs> oh, I love it if it gets off that tree. Please don't hit that. Yes. Of course it hits the second one though. The par threes here are actually pretty easy shots, but once you get two shots on a par four, then I think those are actually the easier holes if you can at least throw 350. Of course, if you guys are liking the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you have any other future video ideas, leave those down in the comments and I'll try to get to those. Beautiful. Little six claw zone. One of my favorite discs, not necessarily the six time, but the zone. If you don't have a zone, I don't know what you're doing. I feel about the zone like Robbie C does the pig. The zone is money. Little TL3 on the right side. Hopefully we can get some ground action when we get in there. Is it far enough? Go. Okay, so no skip at all. There's a part of this video that's kind of relaxing because I don't typically do videos with my actual disc golf bag. And instead of me just guessing the whole video on how a disc is gonna fly, I have a pretty good idea. I just have to throw the discs right. A little redemption putt after I damn near airballed one of these over there on hole three. Little Texas flip, of course. Get that extra little distance. There you go. Striped it. Twice hurts luck. Boom, let's go. That was the little two in a row that we were looking for after coming off a little bad three hole streak. Now looking at hole seven, it really does not look that hard, but the low ceiling kind of trips me up every time. I like to go forehand on the left side, hopefully just kind of push something that is stable enough to uh, fade to the basket. <sighs> Did not mean to go through there, but uh, it doesn't matter. Short anyway, of course. Love the fact that we at least have a little jump putt at this. All hope is not lost yet. <laughs> now it's lost. That was ugly. Whether it be ugly or not, it is a par, which doesn't hurt the scorecard. I love to say that because you gotta keep the mentality right when you're trying to shoot below par. Hole eight is another par four, kind of just a layup shot around this left corner here. <sighs> oh, headwind kind of Hold that left more. Wow. 
This is all new territory to me. Usually I am not blocked by these pine trees here. Um, this is just gonna have to be a kind of a spike hyzer over this stuff. I have no idea if that's enough distance or not, but I really hope it is because I do not like to par this hole at all. Ah. Player two always makes it. Another par on the day. This one really kind of frustrating, kind of a difficult upshot, but a putt that I'm able to make. It's kind of where my days of inconsistency come. Wrapping this video up on a par three at 260 feet. Thinking about throwing wasp here. I don't know if I'm completely decided though. With the headwind, I'm gonna switch it up and go TL3. Oh, I love it. I think I love it. Get over there. Yes, I love it. I'm glad I went with the TL3 there. The Wasp probably would have worked, but with the headwind, I get kind of scared throwing mid-ranges on this hole because sometimes I won't get them all the way there. Whew, snuck it on on the left side, but it's in there. A little minus four through the front nine. That's gonna wrap up this video. The back nine will be uploaded tomorrow, so stay tuned to see what I can shoot out here and how good or how bad an amateur like myself is. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.